going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain Bridger and today we are continuing the Coach Fowler Coaching Carousel Dynasty here on NCAA 14 with the SMU Mustangs. If you missed last episode here, uh, we upset the number five Texas A&M Aggies in College Station, Texas, which catapulted us to the number 21 spot in the country. And then after a bye week, we shot up two more spots. So now uh, we are number 19 coming into week four here, getting ready to take on the Navy Midshipmen. Going into the game here, we have them beaten everything except rushing offense. Actually, no, I lied. They have us beat in turnover differential. Um, they are always going to be a, a pretty good running team because they just play the triple option, which um, hopefully the defense can, uh, can put a stop to. Now looking at our leaders here, Mordecai is uh, leading the team with 436 passing yards after two games, two touchdowns, one interception. Bentley is leading the team with 237 rushing yards, one touchdown. And Cal Katera is leading the uh, team in receiving 188 yards, one touchdown. These are the Navy leaders. They're not really doing a whole, whole lot here, but um, let's see what the boys can come up with, and we will see you guys out there on the field. All right, guys, here we are back in Dallas, Texas. It's a rainy one here at Gerald J. Ford Stadium, but uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can uh, we can wipe away these midshipmen and we can move on and uh, maintain our undefeated season here. All right, guys, here we go to uh, more or less start the game here. Second and 11 to get things going. We'll toss it over to Roberson, and Roberson gets lit up for about a six-yard gain, and this will bring up third down and five. All right, third and five. Let's see what uh, we can get going. We got Calcaterra out there for the catch, and he picks up the first down for us. All right, second and five here. Let's um, since Sigurds in motion here. I want to I want to break out and get a good run play. And oh my God, this just might be it. Ah, uh, can't get him to uh, to shake, but we pick up a good rushing play, and uh, we keep on down the field. All right, second and eight. And we got Roberson out there. And he catches the dot for another first down. Gets us, I think, right outside the 10 yard line. All right, second and nine now. And we've got, boom, Calcaterra out there. Wide ass open in the end zone for the SMU touchdown. Let's go. But second down to 13 now. Saint, oh yeah. Got Rice out there by himself. Rice cuts to the outside, down the field. He's got the speed and he's gonna take it to the house. Touchdown, Mustangs. 72 yard catch for the boys. Let's go, man. Second and ten. Woo. Oh, are we getting it again? Roberson down the field, and yes, we are. Touchdown, Mustangs. Two huge passing touchdowns in consecutive drives. And it's not even the second quarter. That's crazy. Second and six. And Bentley breaks free. There we go. Find the hole, follow the blockers, and we pick up 12. All right, we're facing another third down here. Corners are pressing these curl routes. Let's see what uh, we can do. And Rice with the catch. Doesn't get the touchdown, but that's fine. First down and goal at like the two. Way to pick that up. All right, I'm committed to get a run touchdown here. For Bentley and he's gonna walk it in let's go touchdown Mustangs I think I want to try and score before uh, before halftime here I think that might be the wave all 
Yeah, I lost some of my routes out there, but Mordecai's gonna go on his feet here, and he gets tripped up around the 30. All right, first and 10, minute left in half. And boom, Calcaterra over the head of the linebacker. And we pick up another 20 yards, and we are already over 250 yards passing for the day, and it's not even halftime. Alrighty, let's, let's see here. Rice, boom, touchdown! And the Knights, <laughs> Knights, oh my god, wrong series. And the Mustangs go up almost 34 to 3. Alright guys, we're going to go into the locker room up 34 to 3. This is a blowout. I'm not going to make you guys watch this. We're going to just kind of pull through this and we'll just go go ahead on to, uh, to next week here. Alright guys, clock hits triple zeros and the Mustangs walk away with a big time win, 48 to 10. Um, it was kind of a shellacking there in the first half. Second half, um, we... Um, we ended up scoring a couple times. I think they scored the, their opening drive of the second, but not a whole lot happened. But big time win for the boys, and we'll get ready for next season. Or excuse me, next week. Next week, goodness. So we'll break down passing real quick. Mordecai, player of the game, went 14 for 16, 301 yards, four touchdowns. And I did throw a pick in the second half, which does suck, but is what it is. And then uh, Preston Stone came in, four for five, 39 yards. And uh, that's that. Rushing, Bentley went 17 for 119, one touchdown. Uh, Mordecai, 7 for 25 yards. Siggers, 5 uh, carries for 32 yards, one touchdown. And then Preston Stone, the backup quarterback, uh, ran one time for 5 yards and one touchdown. Receiving, Calcaterra went 5 catches, 80 yards, one touchdown. Roberson went 4 catches, 91 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Rasheed Rice, 4 catches, 111 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Gray went two for 26. Daniels Jr. went one for four. Uh, Nolan Harris went one for seven. And Kiki Burns, oh, I, okay. He was a backup tight end, I think. Uh, he went uh, one for 21. All right, guys, so we advance one week and we move up from 19 to number 16 in the nation, getting ready to take on the TCU Horn Frogs in, uh, in, I forgot where they are, Fort Worth. We're in Fort Worth for this one. So we will see you guys out there and another rivalry game here on our hands. Alrighty guys, here we are in Fort Worth getting ready to take on the TCU Horned Frogs. Uh, defense made a stop here, so we're uh, getting ready to go here. Four and a half minutes left to go in the first. And Bentley gets the ball, breaks it to the outside, and we pick up four on the opening play. Alright, second and six. Toss it up to Rice. Rice lowers the shoulder and picks up the first down. Good lord. All right, second and six here. Uh, waited too long. Waited way too long. What? Okay, more guys gonna. Ooh, my god. He's gonna pick up at least a couple, but man, he got lit up on that one. Yeah, I waited too long. I had a receiver open for just a split second, but just I, I didn't pull the trigger. All right, we're running a triple option. Okay, there we go. Mordecai cuts to the outside. Touchdown, Mustangs. Let's go. Look at Mordecai with the big boy run. Let's go. All right, first and 10 here. We're running the jet sweep. Handed it to Siggers. And Siggers cuts to the outside. Still on his feet and picks up the first down. Let's go. Mordecai completely missed his block there on the outside, but that's all right. All right, first and 10 here. Let's see what... Oh, my goodness. I threaded the needle there. Wow. Good thing that, uh, that DB wasn't really looking. All right, second down and goal. We're running another triple option here. Oh, this time we get it off to Siggers for the touchdown. Perfectly ran option play. Alright, defense comes up big, so we're still maintaining this 14-0 lead here. And Calcaterra's out there for us, stays in bounds, lowers the shoulder, and gets brought down right around the 50-yard line. Alright, second and nine here. Boom, Roberson, wide open. Whoop! 
<laughs> Didn't quite work as well as I wanted to because he got lit the f up. But <laughs> our second and eight, we're calling an audible. We were running a jet sweep, but I didn't feel confident with that. And I didn't feel confident with that throw either. Why did I do that? All right, costly INT. They go down and score. So we are up 14 7 now. 53 seconds left to go in the first half. So we're going to try and march downfield. We uh, we need to get something going here. Because that would be an awesome positive to go to the locker room with. And there we go. Jordan Curley with the catch and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. All right, second and ten. We got Gray on the outside. And Gray gets out of bounds and stops the clock. There we go, 17-yard reception. We're getting closer and closer. At this point, if we get just a field goal, that's cool, but I really am looking to get a uh, get a touchdown here on this drive. All right, first and 10. Boom, Gray, wide open, touchdown, Mustangs. There we go. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Second and three here. Whoa. Oh, we got Calcaterra over the head of the linebacker. Let's go. 22-yard catch for the tight end. Alrighty. We are running triple option. And it's ran to perfection as Siggers takes the ball inside the five-yard line. And that sets up first and goal. Well executed triple option on that go. All right, we're gonna try and run it again, just like different triple option again, but different, uh, different stylizing. And we give it off to McIntyre. Our step in fullback in Tommy McIntyre punches it in for the Mustang touchdown. I gotta say, I feel very comfortable with this team. Very comfortable with this offense. I've never been so confident in throwing a pass before. As Bentley <laughs> takes the back juke and picks up 17 on that great run. All right, we come to the line third and 10. Run some out routes here. Let's, ooh, no, no. Oh, wow. I did not think that was going to end well, but Danny Gray with the dot catches with the toe drag. All right, second and goal. Play action. Throwing it out to McIntyre. Bruh. Bro, what? All right, that is the universe telling me that uh, Bentley needs this touchdown. So, hand it off to him. And he gets inside for the Mustang touchdown, man. All right, goal for this drive is to get a passing touchdown. I want to make sure that I we walk away with... Uh, more touchdowns than interceptions and rice is going to help us out with that one as he uh, kind of twirls his way around the dbs to get down to the 20. all right second and 10 running read option as mordecai cuts to the outside loses the ball oh and that's touchdown that's touchdown unless bentley can get him F me man god that sucks. Alrighty, and just like that, it is third and 11. Wasn't expecting this, but here we are. So we'll take the snap. And Calcaterra's there for the catch, picks up the first down, and TCU calls their final time out for some reason. Alright, y'all, here we are. Third down and goal. We're going to give it to McIntyre, and McIntyre is going to walk it in for the touchdown. Alrighty, guys, we're going to walk to the line, take a knee, and that's going to do it. Your final score here in Fort Worth, Texas, the SMU Mustangs 41, TCU Horned Frogs 28. What a game. Uh, I thought we played pretty well, but uh, TCU definitely kind of stepped it up there towards the end. But uh, luckily, the boys were able to uh, walk away with the big rivalry win here. I just saw the ticker come across there. Awesome. Pretty happy with that win. All right, y'all. So Mordecai ended the day uh, 22 for 30. 
Yeah, 22 for 30, 379 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. On the ground, Ulysses Bentley got uh, 16 carries for 77 yards, one touchdown. Tanner Mordecai, the quarterback, eight rushes for 26 yards, one touchdown. Trey Siggers, four runs, 33 yards, one touchdown. And Tommy McIntyre, one rush, four yards, one touchdown. And Roberson had an attempt, but he got blown up at the line of scrimmage. It has been six weeks and we have finally locked in our first recruit. It's a D tackle. Chris Harvey is our first commit to the team. Side of the ball we don't even deal with, but uh, we have a lot of work to do here in the recruiting. Speaking of which, let's take a look at our recruiting board as of right now. Uh, we are down to 14 recruits. Um, first of all, fullback Lawrence Blanks. We're in a recruiting battle with a handful of schools here. We're just behind Tulsa. Trey Allen, we are in the lead with, which is good. Uh, tight end Justin Austin, we're in the lead, and we have a pretty solid lead with that one. D tackle Cedric Montgomery, we're in the lead with. D tackle Rich Rice, we're a little bit behind on with Southern Miss. D tackle Patrick Kane, we're in a recruiting battle with just about everybody. James Crowder, D tackle, we're in the lead. A uh, little bit of a solid lead over Texas Tech, but uh, I wish I had more points to be able to, to spend. Linebacker Justin Frazier, we are a just a little hair over uh, Baylor right now. JT Houston, uh, Tulsa's got a little bit of a lead on us on with him. Terrell Gross, we're in a battle with a handful of schools. We're just behind Kent State with him. Grant Riley, we're in a recruiting battle for three teams, but uh, we are third on his list right now. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him. Middle linebacker Donnie Blankenship, uh, we have a lead, pretty solid lead over Houston right now. Um, but I was able to take away some of his points to put elsewhere. And then kicker Justin Smith, uh, we have a pretty solid lead with over Utah State. And as we just saw, Chris Harvey, we did uh, secure. And with last week's win, we do go up to number 14 in the country. And that's going to do it for this episode. So guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Appreciate everything, the likes, the views, everything like that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you do hit the like button down below. It helps me out quite a bit. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You get more content like this. And if you want to, you can go check out some of my other, uh, my other series as well. But guys, that's going to do it for me here. Hope to see you guys next time. And as always... Go Mustangs.